Good evening, I'm Angela Hill. And I'm Karen Swenson. Is it another example of a public official posting something online that could end up getting him in trouble? Tonight, the federal prosecutor at the center of an investigation into improper blog posts is no longer with the U.S. Attorney's Office. U.S. Attorney Jim Letton talked about Sal Perricone's resignation and his comments on NOLA.com at today's Crime Stoppers luncheon. Know this. In addition to those being unauthorized, none of those comments, criticisms, or characterizations were in any way reflective of my views or opinions or those of the United States Department of Justice or this office or our people. Last week, Perricone admitted to posting comments under several fake names. Most of the posts dealt harsh criticism on a wide range of issues from federal investigations to politics and politicians. Perricone is still facing investigations by the Department of Justice and the Bar Association. Letton says Perricone's conduct hit him like a ton of bricks. This should not have happened. It was an, a complete aberration. Nobody could have foreseen it. Uh, and um, we're doing our best to, to, to move forward. And Letton says Perconi acted alone. A local community says it is struggling to come to grips with the rising murder rate in just the first few months of the year. Last night, deputies in St. John the Baptist Parish began investigating their fourth murder of the year. And as Maya Rodriguez reports, some in the rural community of Garyville say they now live in fear. An Orleans Parish judge is expected to decide tomorrow if a state-authorized concrete crushing operation can continue in Slidell, where some homeowners are complaining about noise and dust. And this is a story North Shore Bureau Chief Doug Mouton first told us about back in January. And Doug was at the court hearing today. The lawsuit includes a noise complaint and a complaint about dust kicked up from the concrete crushing operation creating unhealthy air for homeowners. Well, we've been keeping an eye on some slow moving storms heading our way from Texas. When can we expect the severe weather to arrive and what are we in for overnight? Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Carl Arredondo in the Weather Center. What do you think, Carl? After sitting vacant for years, crews began construction today on a big new development in the heart of Mid-City. So far, it's a mix of retail and restaurants and it borders plans for the Lafitte Greenway. Katie Moore has details. And developers say they've leased 80% of the space so far and they're looking to make sure that they get the right business mix to make it succeed. Well, as we mentioned in an earlier story, the resignation of former assistant U.S. attorney Sal Perricone does not mean the end of the controversy surrounding his online comments. And that's the subject of this week's commentary by Eyewitness News political analyst and Gambit columnist Clancy Dubos. It's weird hearing uh, Peyton Manning talk as a Bronco. Yeah, um, really weird yeah. to see him hold that jersey yeah. up, but it is reality. The Broncos have put... Great, thank, thank you, Juan. Right. We're going to take a look ahead to Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock next. All right, Dennis, thank you. That's our news at 6. Thanks for joining us. Till 10, have a good evening.